Ready, Ken? Ready? Let's stop it. Ready? 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 Welcome to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. I'm your host, JC, and today we're going to take the mystery out of the JTS Aracuda Max, but this one is in 30 caliber, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one. But before we get started, do me a favor if you hadn't already, hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free, and it really does help support the channel. And we want to keep doing what we're doing here. Also, check out my website if you have the opportunity, www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, I've got various t-shirts, I've got hats, I've got my Generation 2 bipods, and I have my inventory. And I've been putting a lot more guns up there, but they go really fast. And you got to remember, anything, uh, the guns rather, that I put up there, they're all customized. Either there's trigger work done to them, there's bipods that are already set up on them, they're tuned. I mean, there's just a... They're one of a kind items, so keep that, uh, keep that in mind when you're looking at those. And again, what I do with that is I sell some of my inventory, gives me the funds to be able to purchase new stuff so we can bring some new things in here, which is great. All right, let's get back to the subject on hand, which is the Aracuda Max. First of all, let's start off, it does not come with a scope, okay? I put the scope on it, it does not come with the bipods or the Picatinny uh, rail. I attached a Picatinny rail to the bottom of this so I could set up bipods. Anyway, just wanted to clarify that. All right, so what we have, we have the JTS Aracuda Max. Now, if you remember, we reviewed the 25 caliber one, which was outstanding. So this is actually the 30 caliber one. This one has a little higher feel level. This is a 3500 PSI feel level, and it is fully regulated. They're claiming that it'll shoot a 30 caliber pellet at 850 feet per second and give you right around 70 foot pounds of energy which is pretty amazing. It actually comes with two magazines. These are the all metal magazines. I really like them a lot. They feed easy. These are seven round magazines. The 30 caliber, they hold seven. So it comes with two of those, all metal. The gun itself is 40, um, 41 and a half inches long. It weighs about 7.9 pounds, just under eight pounds. And it does have an 18 inch barrel. This also does have a threaded shroud here. It's an 18, um, 18 to 1, and that means it'll take an adapter for a half to 20. And our buddy Terry at Buck Rail, he's, uh, he's got those, and guess what? We've got one of his suppressors too, so we're actually going to put the suppressor on it, we're going to test it, we're going to do some shooting with it, and the whole bit. And then at the end, I'm going to show actually show you how to install these, in case you ever had a question on that. All right, so the triggers on this, outstanding, same triggers that were on the 25 caliber one that I tested, the Aracuda and the Aracuda Max, both. Outstanding triggers. You can really customize them. You can get in there. You can buff them. You can adjust them. There's just so many things you can do. So it's outstanding. Uh, wood stock, absolutely beautiful on this. You've got the adjustable uh, cheek rest, but uh, it really, this rifle really feels good in the hand. It really does. Um, the scope, it is set up with a, the rail. It's a Picatinny style, which is nice. So that's, uh, that's another option. And this has the um, side cocking which can obviously be decocked as well got your straight safety there okay your safety right under here which you just flip with your finger which is no big deal all right but here's the uh here's the great part we're going to go out and test this thing and we're actually going to test the performance and i'm going to show you exactly how it performs and then, then we're going to come back and we'll talk about it. so let's go have some fun all right let's test our aracuda max 30 cal over the chronograph. I'm kind of excited for this. I have not chronoed this yet, just so you guys know. This is the first time I'm chronographing it. We're going to shoot one of the most accurate pellets out of this gun, their own JTS dead center pellets. These are a 45.06 grain. So we're going to shoot um, five shots. We'll average it out. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to shoot two shots without the suppressor, and then we're going to put the buck rail suppressor on there just to show you the difference in the readout. So two shots over the crony, and then we'll put the suppressor on and do three more shots. So let's see what happens here. All right, shot number one, 8.58. Man, that's some good foot-pounds of energy. Okay, shot number two, 
856. Okay, now let's put the suppressor on. Okay, as you can see, the suppressor's on there now. So let's do three more shots. All right. 854. Definitely cut the edge off that. Oh, definitely. Okay, that was shot three. This is shot four. 853. And one more. You notice that suppressor, it totally cuts the edge off this thing. It makes it 100% backyard friendly. All right, and one more shot. 852. Man, look at that standard deviation. And check out the foot pounds of energy. <laughs> You just gotta love it. I'm absolutely impressed. All right, just as much as I'm impressed with that suppressor, because I cannot believe how that thing quiets this thing down. Just takes the edge off it. Terry, once again, you do an outstanding job. All right, let's uh, move on to the next segment. All right, let's test out our Aracuda here for some accuracy. Um, tested a bunch of different pellets. Believe it or not, the JTS dead centers work the best. Figure JTS pellets, JTS rifle, good match. Anyway, these are a 45. 0.06 grain pellet so we got a chunk of lead here that's going to be going down range but we'll see how well we can group with this um, also I'm going to uh, put our buck rail suppressor it's on the gun it's a little quieter for shooting here the end of the video I'm going to show you how to install that there's a couple options here anyway we'll be shooting our splatter burst targets these are our four inch targets I love the way the impact I'll leave you a link down below if you guys are interested in those but uh, we're at about a uh, little over 40 yards, somewhere between 40 and 42 yards. I got that cart pushed all the way back. Go ahead, check that out real quick. And you can see how far we are. All right, so let's just do five shots. See how we do. All right. Shot number one. Ah, gotta love it. I love this trigger. I got this trigger so dialed in. All right, shot number two. Shot number three. Gotta love the grouping on this. Shot number four. And one more for shot number five. There we go. That is one heck of a group. I will take that every time every single solitary time and as I said I have this trigger dialed in this gun is so much fun to shoot I can't even tell you guys but I had the same experience with the other ones with the uh, 25 caliber I tested before and then the straight Aracuda as well that was pretty fantastic so they got quite the product going here I do have to say all right let's uh, move on to the next segment okay, let's test our JTS our 30 cal here as far as the trigger weight goes I did adjust this trigger I love the triggers on these guns they're fully adjustable really easy to work on so let's uh, see what our pull weight is. We got our trusty Lyman trigger gauge here. Let's give it one pull and see what we got here. One pound, 7.6 ounces. One pound, 7.6 ounces. Yeah, you gotta like it. I got this thing dialed in just perfect. Anyway, and that's, uh, it's really amazing trigger, it really is. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, my favorite portion, you guys know, is plinking. And you guys are in for something special with this. This 30 cal, I did some practice shots with some of these targets that I'm gonna shoot up there, these steel targets, and you cannot believe the impact. I'm excited to show this to you. But what we're gonna be shooting is, once again, the JTS dead centers goes with the JTS rifle. That's that 45 grain pellet, and I'm telling you, over 70 foot-pounds of energy, and you're going to see it here. Uh, we're at usual plinking distance. We're a little over 40 yards out. Go ahead, check that out real quick. You can see what we've got. We've got three steel eggs, a little bird, and then we've got the big ram. We'll hit the big ram last. But anyway, let's just, we'll start from the right side. We'll work our way left. And I want you guys to pay attention, seriously, of how hard this thing hits. Because it's a, <laughs> it is a surprise. And once again, we're running our uh, buck rail suppressor because it's nice and quiet for the backyard here. All right, so let's start with the one on the right. Can you believe how that thing goes flying? I mean, un seriously, I, I can't even believe it. I'm gonna have to go hunt those down. All right, egg. 
Next day. God, just devastating, I'm telling you. Next day. Guys, I'm telling you, it is, this is so much fun. I'm telling you, watching this impact. Okay, let's hope we don't knock the ram down. I just want to hit the egg. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Nothing like a headshot for that ram. Let's do a headshot. Oh, yeah. This thing is unbelievable. It really is. The accuracy, the power. Again, over 70 foot-pounds of energy, and you guys witnessed it hitting those steel targets. All right, let's move on to the next segment, and we'll wrap this up. All right, let's wrap this up with our conclusion here. All I have to say is outstanding performance. This thing was tremendous, so much fun to shoot. I just love shooting these larger calibers, I really do. The impacts are just so amazing. But uh, just like the other Aracudas, uh, the Aracuda, the Aracuda Max that we reviewed, this one did not disappoint. Uh, negatives, I don't have any negatives. I really tried to come up with something, I don't have any. I really don't. So let's get right into the positive. Let's start with the accuracy. The accuracy was just tremendous. And we did that with the suppressor on here. But anyway, we shot a quarter inch group at 40 yards. I mean, we're basically stacking pellets to the same hole. It's outstanding. And then on top of that, we're getting tremendous performance as far as power goes. We got 73 foot pounds of energy coming out of this. And in fact, let's get right into this. I charted this for you just so you guys could see. So check this out. So you're on the regulator roughly between shot number one and 16. So that means you're on the regulator consistent shots. And what did we do? We averaged 853 feet per second and we got our 73 foot pounds of energy. But you can get you know, 20, 21 shots out of it. You fall off the regulator at the end, but they're still pretty decent shots. So you can get a 20, 21. So figure three magazines, you can go through three magazines on this. But your best shots by far are shot number one through 16. And uh, we use those uh, 45 grain JTS dead center pellets. Those do not disappoint. Those pellets are tremendous. I've been absolutely surprised at the performance of those. They're just, they, they don't disappoint either. They just keep uh, giving us great accuracy. Another fantastic thing with this is the trigger. I love the trigger on this. You can adjust these things to your liking. And I like a light trigger, but if you're hunting, you might want a little heavier, but you can adjust it to what, however uh, your style of shooting is, which is great. And I really like the fact that this is threaded for a suppressor, which actually reminds me, speaking of which, let's show you how to install this really quick, and then we'll come back and, and wrap this up. So. Let's put our buck rail, let me show you the process, how we put our buck rail suppressor on here. Okay, I thought I'd show you guys how to install a suppressor on our, our JTS Aracuda here. You've got a couple options here. So, we've got, obviously, we've got our suppressor here. You've got a simple, this is a simple uh, 18 to 1 adapter here. What we do is we simply will just unscrew the cap here and reinstall this one. Okay, we also have... This is what we call our, our bigger adapter, and you can see this. Okay, this is one that will actually replace the uh, stock um, shroud cap along with the baffles and the air stripper. And the reason you would go with this one, it's just an option if you're having accuracy issues with your rifle. This will correct that because it, it lines the barrel up perfectly with the shroud, so there'll be no question. And again, this has the half by 20 uh, thread on it as well, so then you would just put your suppressor. So let me show you real quick how we would do this. Uh, first off, you just remove this cap right here, and uh, what installs on this one is just our simple adapter, which is our half by 20. This screws in here. It's this simple, seriously. So we thread this in, and then we take this nice little cover cap off, and then your suppressor screws right on here. Then you just snug that down. So then there's your suppressor, so you're set. That's how I've been shooting this gun. No issues whatsoever with the baffles inside, not with accuracy, nothing. So 
mine works 100% perfect just with that simple adapter. But let me show you if you're having accuracy issues and you decide that you want to go to this larger adapter. Okay, what you're going to need for this, well, if you're me, you're going to need some readers so you can see what the heck is going on, and then some snap ring pliers. And if you'll see in here, there's a little uh, snap ring washer. And what you want to do is just get in here with your snap ring pliers and just loosen that up. Once you get that loosened up, you can grab a little teeny straight edge, like a little pick or what have you, and you can just rotate this and get it out of there. So there's a lot of threads here, so you got to unthread this all the way out. But you're going to see the cap's going to come out. Okay. Because this has a built-in suppressor. So I'm going to put this in the order it needs to go back in, just like this. Okay, and then this is obviously your air stripper. Okay, then simply what you're going to do, so those items come out. This one you're just going to slide on in there and you're going to thread this one in. Seriously, it's this simple. So this goes in, you want to snug this thing up just a little bit. And then you got your nice decorative cap, you want to keep the cap on there, but then your suppressor just goes on just like this. There you go. So you got those two options for you. You can just go with that simple little adapter, which uh, that's what I did, and it works fantastic. But if you're having accuracy issues, you do have another option that will correct that. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that real quick. All right, let's move on. Okay, don't tell me that Buckrell suppressor isn't the perfect match for this rifle. It really is. In fact, I'll leave you guys a link below for uh, Buckrell. Just click on that. It'll take you right to the website. But the amount of accessories that Terry has came up with for the various air guns is simply amazing. And I'm always throwing a challenge out there, and he's coming up with a new product. He really is. It's great. Okay, so the Buckrell suppressor is fantastic. Um, you definitely have to get one with any of these um, Aracuda rifles that you have. It just makes it that much more pleasant to shoot, backyard friendly, and uh, you can maintain that accuracy as well. All right, let's get back to the rifle though. As far as the rifle goes, man, without a doubt, this is a five-star rifle. And especially when you think about the price point. These run around that $400 mark, but look at the performance that you're getting out of a $400 rifle. I mean, this performs like those $800 and $1,000 uh, PCP rifles. It really does. So for this price point, you just can't beat it. You just can't beat this performance. So anyway, way to go, JTS. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of air gun detectives. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Until next time, I hope you and your families are getting plenty of shooting in and you guys are just staying healthy and having a good time. So until again next time, take care and God bless.